Today we are going to talk about custom widget imports for HTML5 single page application or SPA. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to kind of launch a Kony application here and our intention is to invoke a third party library which can act as a date picker. So for that we went ahead to censure.com and downloaded their library. So censure is a third party library and we are intending to use their date picker widget as part of our application. So after you have gone ahead and downloaded the Sensor library, you'll have to do a couple of import jobs. And the first one is to sort of import the Sensor libraries into your framework. So go ahead and uh, import that. Specify a destination folder, this comes under the resources uh, section here and that completes the import process. So what I've done is I've imported the central library which is a one-time exercise. Uh, I don't have to do this time and again uh, every time I create a custom widget. Uh, but I also have to import the, the wrapper. The wrapper is nothing but an interface that talks between the, the Sencha widget and the Kony application. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, import my wrapper here. And I'm going to specify a destination folder. And that accomplishes my wrapper import. So now I'm going to quickly go ahead and refresh the project so that the wrapper gets introduced into my file structure here. And then I'm going to open the wrapper and show you the contents, uh, what, you, what you as a developer may have to do to sort of uh, import uh, to, to, to work with a custom widget. So what you basically do is you reference the date picker which is the widget of interest in this case from Sencha and then you have the initialize widget function which talks about the date picker which is basically introduced the first time the form invokes this widget. So this clearly indicates that I'm using the, the date picker widget. And then subsequently, uh, the model change is, is nothing but uh, a modify or a change in property value. So the property value gets changed subsequently during future invocations. Uh, then this is the function that is executed and uh, the values are, are kind of coordinated with the Sencha widget. So moving on, I think uh, the next step in the process is, so what we have done till now is we have imported the Sencha library, which is a one-time exercise. And we have imported the, the, the wrapper that we wrote that kind of encompasses the Sencha library. And the next thing is for us to actually build custom widget as part of our palette. So you go to integrate third party and manage your custom widgets. And you say that the name of the library is Sencha and you create your new widget, hit next. Say that it's date picker, specify your library, select the resources associated with the library, specify the wrapper of interest, and that accomplishes the import. And the good thing is, you know, since you already have the library imported, you can create as many widgets as you want as long as they all align with the Sencha widget. So once we say finish, we can go ahead and quickly do a quick refresh of the entire project. And once we come over here, uh, we can now see that the date picker is available for us to use. So I can just go ahead and start using the date picker wherever I want. So that uh, allows me to now uh, use the date picker as part of my project or my Kony application. So let me just quickly show you how this ultimately renders uh, as part of a final application. So this is my SPA application on the right. Uh, and uh, if I just reload this, uh, you can see that the date picker can now be invoked. And this date picker uh, will basically invoke the Sencha widget. Uh, and uh, I can select any date I want. And uh, this is typically, uh, you know, as part of the wrapper code, this is done through the initialize widget, and then I hit done. And if I were to change it again, uh, you know, 
the day these values are populated as part of the modal change uh, which we saw in our wrapper so this is how custom widgets can be successfully imported as part of a of an html5 spa application and uh, this is how they are rendered uh, for uh, the Kony application.